A cash dividend is a cash distribution a company makes to its shareholders. When the word dividend is mentioned, it usually refers to cash dividends unless otherwise stated. Unlike interest payments, dividends to common stockholders are not an obligation, but are entirely up to the discretion of the management. Cash dividends are typically paid out regularly at known intervals and are known as regular cash dividends. A long-term record of stable or increasing dividends is widely viewed by investors as a sign of a company's financial stability. In addition, such companies also pay irregular one-off dividends, commonly called special dividends or extra dividends. Many cyclical firms use special dividends to share profits with shareholders when times are good, but maintain the flexibility to conserve cash when profits are poor. Special dividends can also be paid by companies that do not pay regular cash dividends. When a firm pays out cash dividends, the cash leaves the company's books and equity is reduced by the amount of cash paid out. Sometimes dividends are not paid in cash, but in the form of new shares known as stock dividend. Stock dividends are commonly expressed as a percentage. A 10% stock dividend means every shareholder gets 10% more stock. So in this case, since this company has 10 shares outstanding, there is one new share issued. In the case of a stock dividend, the cash is conserved in the firm's balance sheet and the shareholder's equity remains the same. The main difference is that there are now more shares outstanding, but total equity remains the same. Each share is now worth less. So as you can see, nothing much has changed. There's no economic impact on both the company and shareholders. As such, stock dividends do not affect the valuation of a company's common stock as a whole. Stock splits and reverse stock splits are similar to stock dividends in that they have no economic effect on the company or shareholders. Stock splits, which are more common than stock dividends, divide each existing share into multiple shares, creating more shares. Splits are expressed as a ratio. In a two-for-one stock split, each old share is split into two new shares. So in this case, the total number of outstanding shares is doubled to 20. There are now more shares, but the price of each share will drop correspondingly to the number of shares created, so there is no change in the owner's wealth. Reverse stock splits are the opposite of stock splits, where old shares are merged to form fewer new shares. So for instance, a 1 for 2 reverse split in this case would mean that every two old shares are merged into one new share, effectively halving the number of outstanding shares to five. Similarly, even though there are fewer shares, the price of each share will get doubled, so there's no change in the owner's wealth. There is no change in total equity in the company's books as well, as no cash was paid out. So we've seen that a stock dividend stock split and reverse stock split are corporate actions that do not change the shareholders wealth or the company's balance sheet so they have no effect on the value of the common stock. In a way a stock split can be seen as an alternative to a stock dividend. For example a two for one split is equivalent to paying a 100% stock dividend. In contrast Share repurchases are an alternative to cash dividend payments. A share repurchase is a transaction in which a company uses cash to buy back its own shares. Shares that have been repurchased are not considered for dividends, voting or computing earnings per share. As there are now fewer number of outstanding shares, the earnings attributable to each share is increased thus increasing the value of each share. This means that shareholder wealth is increased 
even though the shareholder does not receive cash. A share repurchase is viewed as equivalent to the payment of cash dividends of equal value in terms of the effect on shareholders' wealth, all other things being equal. So what are some of the reasons a company's management chooses to repurchase shares instead of paying cash dividends? Firstly, share repurchases affords the company the flexibility in the amount and timing of distributing cash to shareholders. Secondly, when the share price drops too low, the company may repurchase the shares to support the share price and to signal that the management believes the shares are undervalued. Thirdly, some markets impose higher taxes on dividends received than capital gains. Stock repurchase can therefore help shareholders pay less tax. And lastly, share repurchases are sometimes used to offset an increase in outstanding shares from the exercise of employee stock options. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.